Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Maker Monday. And this morning, I have a very special guest with many, many of you know her. Many of you, maybe she's going to be a new friend to a lot of you, but this is Michelle Stevens. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Michelle's going to show us a technique that she has been working on, on creating ombre towels mm -hmm. um, that you can make from very inexpensive tea towels yep. that you can get on Amazon. And so they're very inexpensive. Do you remember about how much these run? So Amazon, you can usually get about 20 for 12 to $15. And Walmart also carries them with a 10 pack for like seven fifty. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, one, it's something that you can turn around and resell in your Etsy shop. Absolutely. This is actually something that Michelle, she resells them. I do. Um, if they also make great gifts. It's also something that you can make in your own home and enjoy. But here's the other thing that you can have as far as, um, we, while we've done these on tea towels, you can also do them on t-shirts. You can do them on baby blankets, baby blankets, baby cribs, oh, no. it, pillowcases, all anything, the things. It, all of those, all those things. It makes it a lot, a lot of fun. All right. So, um, what the kind of before we get started on the project, okay. um, this is kind of a new format that we are doing and we absolutely love it. But, um, some of these stencil series that we have where they are um, actually on scripture verses. Yes. Um, and this one this morning is on Psalm 103. Um, bless the Lord, O my soul. And I will just be honest with you, when I had asked Michelle to join me, um, I had been thinking and praying over this verse for several days and just realized, well, we have these. Um, <laughs> It's a bad combo when it comes to crying. Um, what does, um, a lot, and a lot of people don't know your background and the right. fact that you are a single mom and you have two children that you adopted and you are raising them and everything, you know how hard it is to be a mom when you are, um, when you have a husband and family you do have a good family support system you have amazing support so um and I, I do want to welcome everyone if you're just now tuning in my name is Amy Howard and this is Michelle Stevens and we are here with Maker Studio um so let's just uh, oh and send us some love tell us where you're coming from while we won't be answering questions live we will go back on this Facebook live and if this is something that encourages you I'm being told to speak up so I'm like if this is something that encourages you, share it with a friend. And we also, this is something that I love in the community that we have here at a Maker Studio. Share with us what Psalms 103 means to you and Absolutely. how you can apply it in your life. So Michelle, take us through what, when you read this, bless the Lord, oh my soul. What does it say to you? So, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. So there is this importance of blessing him. It doesn't say anything about our circumstances in that scripture. There is no turning or option or when it's good, when bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. There's so much more to that. And so for me... It's that reminder that regardless of the circumstances, regardless of life changes, regardless of what I do with my everyday life or what my job is or what my kids need or which directions I'm being pulled, that my main goal is to bless the Lord because he is worthy and that blessing him, giving him the praise that he is due puts me in the place where I should be. And that's a good reminder in the fact that when it says bless, that is praise. Yes. We can't bless God. There's nothing I can give him. Nothing. But we can praise him. Absolutely. And as I was going through and studying Psalms 103, I realized this probably in some of the commentaries and things that this, this was something that David wrote much later in his life where he After had experienced so much um, stuff, forgiveness, sinning, forgiveness, forgiveness, sinning, forgiveness, sinning, forgiveness, and how 
he was learning it wasn't about lip service and we i'm just going to i'm going to come from you from a very transparent place and i want you to be able to add to this for me how i will have a tendency sometimes to give almost a lip service of praise and this has to be something that is when we talk about our soul that this is deep in our soul and when that comes and resonates from our soul, how God knows our heart. Absolutely. That's their innermost being, is to praise him with our soul. I think that's when the things of this earth, the petty they fade things, they fade, away. they fade away. They don't matter. They don't hold, they don't hold the importance anymore. Right. Um, just as, and you don't even know what I'm, I was getting ready to ask you. <laughs> Uh-oh. But, but even as far as, let's just say last week, how does this scripture, because we talk about God's word is living, breathing, it's applicable. And this is part of our new mission with a maker studio and the fact of having God's word on pillows, on things on our wall, that as we look at it daily and we resonate on it, on it, how it is going to change us from the inside out and give us hope when we need it. Um, how can you say that, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me? Was there anything applicable to last week? Now the water works. I'm going to try really hard. You know we live in Memphis. Um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of protesting. Both of my children are African-American. So holding their lives and their stories and what that means in the midst of all of this and how do I, as a white mother, help them engage their culture and stand up for them and it become a Jesus thing and not a race thing, mm -hmm. I have to just rest and remember that he holds us. Bless the Lord. He's got it. He knows the answers that I don't know. He holds the future that I cannot even see the beginning of. And he holds my babies. They are safe in his hand, regardless of as a mom, if I can protect them or not. That's a good word. One, one thing, and it, maybe you're listening to us this morning. Maybe this is something that someone shares and that maybe you are... Yeah, we needed it. Uh, <laughs> um just scrolling through, and I want to share with something from my own life. When, um, and this is part of a discipline and a learning um, of when so many times when we pray, we're just regurgitating request. Yeah. The first thing when we go to pray yes. is we praise Him. Absolutely. Praise Him first. Praise Him first. The second thing we do is confess confess and I'm just going to tell you to go into your prayer time and praise God first just praise him for everything that he has done and given you and what is continuing to and then to confess there's something to me personally of just taking that burden off my shoulders and laying it before him absolutely and confessing it the third thing we do in our prayer is to thank him Thank him. Having a grateful spirit. The other thing is when we start thanking him. And how, praising and thanking are different. They are. They are different. They're different. Know that. So know that when you are, and try to keep it separate, and I'll have to be honest with you, um, a little bit of my ADD comes in. <laughs> and so I'll start skipping. It was like, stop, Amy. Stay focused on praising him first. Then confessing and then thanking him. Thanking him. When we are thanking him, we start to have a more grateful spirit Absolutely. about everything. Absolutely. And then lastly, we pray for others. Mm -hmm. And I was reminded this morning again how when Job, if you don't know the story of Job, how Job had lost everything. But when Job was praying for his friends, that was when God restored everything back to him. So, praising God, confessing, thanking Him, and then praying for others, and letting our request be known as incense to Him. These are the type of things that we're hoping that will 
change, continue to change our lives, our, our desire to be transparent with you and this journey that we're on, that as this community of other women that want to know more, um, and um, it, was, it was so sweet when Leah this morning was saying how we love to create because God created us. Absolutely. And he created you to want to create and to be able to make beautiful things. And Amy, you are teaching through a maker studio, through Amy Howard, how to be creative with a purpose. Mm -hmm. There is a purpose behind us being created mm -hmm. to be creative by a creator. That's a good word. <laughs> I mean, so we need There's to be purpose. thinking about what are really, and, and I go back to the association with my time and the responsibility of my time. Absolutely. We only have so much time on this earth. And so as we are looking at the Great Commission and how we're to love and share the gospel, it's like even what is it that we're making that has a purpose, yes. that has eternal significance. Absolutely. So I love that. All right, guys. So um, my little cry rack I want, <laughs> we got more. <laughs> okay. Um, so Michelle is going to take us through how she did this project this morning. And these are um, adorable. These are these towels that we talk about. You can get on Amazon. You can go get them at Walmart. Solid white. And they're great for everything. Um, in the kitchen, they're great gifts. I mean, they're just stuff that you need. And mm -hmm. I, I mean, I hope everybody had a fabulous Father's Day. Um, well, the reality is they're so farmhouse. They're so farmhouse. They're so farmhouse. Yes. And it's still so popular. Yes. So, so let's, we're going to go through these really quickly. And I want you to kind of see them that she's done. So these are more of an ombre effect. She's getting ready to show us how to do. Mm -hmm. This one is um, just a happy sunny yellow, which to me goes along really well with the summertime. Absolutely. And um, and it's a nice pop of color in your kitchen if you have real generic colors. Yes, but hopefully they're going to use um, Amy Howard One Step Paint. They're going to have bright color. Amen. All right. So here's another one. You could do it either way as far as going from light mm -hmm. to dark and just um, a beautiful green. Here's another green, but this one's a little bit this softer. This one's actually blue. This is, oh. um, this is goodness gracious. Oh, okay. Awesome. So, isn't that beautiful? So, these are just kind of the backgrounds that we're going to be using. But remember, while Michelle has done these on tea towels, you can also do these on t-shirts. Absolutely. Um, clothes, Basically dresses, anything. anything. Canvas. If it's linen or canvas, you can dye it. Yeah, love that. Canvas that's not pli that's pliable. Yes. And then um, she even went into a couple of different colors. This one's kind of my favorite. Yeah. Is it really? Uh -huh. I love it because it's so bright. This one might stay at my kitchen. <laughs> That's good. I'm like, this it's one happy. might not get sold. It might stay in my kitchen. That's good. <laughs> All right. So take us through. I'm going to set All these right. aside. Take us through. I'm going to put gloves on first. And I don't do gloves at home because I'm not worried about the paint. But for the sake of this, I also don't want my hands dyed up to my wrists. Hi. So... <laughs> This is Summer Nights, which is one of our um, a Maker Rescue Studio Rescue colors, Rescue the Rescue Restore paint. And it's two ounces, and that's really all I need to do at least three towels. Um, so I'm going to pour in the entire container. Be sure if you're popping on, my name is Amy Howard, and I have my friend here, Michelle Stevens, with me this morning. And we are going over um, our new um, stencil, uh, Bless the Lord on My Soul, and we're creating ombre tea towels so she's going to show you the process that she went through to be able to create these adorable tea towels so you can water down the rescue restore paint and also the one step paint from amy howard it works with both paints you can water it down pretty substantially and you're still going to get all the permanent um color that you want which is really amazing and you don't have the vocs and you don't have any of the unhealthy stuff so you don't have to worry about it being on a kitchen towel or being on clothing because you're not worried about the product. Yeah, there's no VOCs. Here, now, here's another question. Does it yes, matter? Does this need to be warm water or cold water? I do it with both, and I haven't had any different it's not reactions. Make any difference. So, I, okay. if it does make a difference, I haven't found it yet. Okay. And if you have questions, please tell us. You know, ask your questions. We're going to be going back on Facebook Absolutely. later and answering them for you. But also, um, tell us where you're from. Send us some love and some hearts. Um, and then that way, um, we just love to know where all you're coming in from. And again, we want you to share with the group uh, what does bless the Lord on my soul um, mean. mean to you. Yeah. 
Let's encourage one another. Mm -hmm. So at home, I use a large mason jar so I can screw the top on and shake it really well. And I literally do this in my kitchen sink inside of the mason jar. That way okay. any drippage is in the sink. Okay. And I do it in my kitchen. I don't have any staining in my stainless steel sink because I just wash it up and I'm done and it just goes away. So percentages, um, we had a two ounce container of, um, we had a two ounce container of the Rescue Restore paint. And I put in about 20 ounces of water. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now we're going to, we've got our tea towel. We have we, our tea we towel. We haven't washed it in advance. It's white. Nope. Haven't done anything with so it. So this could be a t-shirt. This could be a table runner. This could be anything that's cloth that yeah. you want to be able to work with. And you can wash it ahead of time. That's not going to hurt anything. Yeah. But you can use them straight out of the container and just start working. Love that. So when I'm doing variegated or ombre, which is what I'm going to show you first because I need the clear water to do that, then I'll show you a full dye. I take it from side to side and I just wad it up. Almost like if you were going to tie dye. And that's because I need to be able to work the paint out of it and I need it to be able to be in my hands. So I'm going to dip half. And the color that we're talking about when you're doing um, washes like this on your fabrics, it is permanent. It is permanent. But it's going to be a lot lighter than the color that you're working with. Absolutely. And these that you see on the table have actually already dried once and then were washed and put in the dryer. So they fade even a little bit more. Which is what we love. Absolutely. We love that kind of aged look. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just... My forefinger and my thumb are really tight. I'm just slowly pulling the tea towel back through and getting the paint out. And the reason I'm going really slow is because I don't want to splash myself in the face. <laughs> you know what I'm loving right here is this. Look at this. I just love. Yes. It some almost of that has a tie dye effect. Yeah, I'm loving that. So, what I'm going to do now, I have my blue side. I'm going to just use water right here in the center and wet a little bit of the edge. And then I'm gonna work the paint back down. So what does that do, Michelle? So what I'm doing is I'm I'm making this paint less thick. Okay. And so then I'm working it back through because I got it wet, so it's gonna move now. Okay. And I'm moving it down the white side of the towel. So that way I'm gonna have it go from darker blue to a lighter blue. To a lighter blue. blue. Do you love that? Do you love that? So and because fun. Because you're squeezing it and you've got it wadded up, it does have a tie-dye feel to it when you finish it out. So I'm gonna go back through like this just really quick so and that I all can get of this, a lot of that water out. We did basically one part paint, which we used two ounces of the rescue restore paint, um, which is in a project size with about uh, 10 parts water. Look Let's at let that. them see it. Love that. See how fun and that, that is? Fab? And you can see the variegation from the top. And you do have some tie dyeing at the top where your fingers were. Yes. Love and that. And sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. Love it. I'm going to lay it, this it, on it. this cardboard to dry. Love it. You'll want to leave it somewhere to dry just because um, it will drip and you will get it on your floors. So I usually lay a drop cloth and I have a um, drying rack for like clothes. And I just lay them all over the drying rack and have the drop cloth under them. And then I don't worry about anything. I'm able to clean my mess really easily. That's fabulous. I think our color choice this morning was great. I love it. All right. So the now we're going to take one of these. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to get real close. Yeah. We're talking to our cameraman. All right. So one thing that you want to make sure, because a lot of times people will fold their towels like this. Yep. And they're going to be thinking, well, this is how it's going to be hanging over um, my area, my kitchen or whatever. But you've got to work on it in a single Absolutely. thickness. Absolutely. You do not want to fold your towel like this and do the ink over it. Nope. So we're going to make Could sure. Bleed through. Yes. And did you say you did wash these after you dyed yes, them? Yes, they're okay. ready to go. All right. So now we have our um, Bless the Lord on My Soul stencil. And we're so just going to pull this off because, you know, it's adhesive. And I'm going to lay it. I've almost got, like, a perfect placement there to I be able to see this. Cool. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I did fold it for you. I did. I did. So, and it is adhesive. It's going to stick to your fabric. If you've not used this before, it makes it um, very nice. It's reusable. Um, and Absolutely. you can rinse it with water. Which and means you can make lots. 
You can make lots of them, especially that's why a lot of people, I think they just get a lot of joy because they're creative. They Absolutely. get a lot of joy out of creating and um, they want to be able to give this to someone. Yeah. You know, I'm still from the old school when I make biscuits or rolls or garlic bread or anything off the grill. I always try to take a bowl and I'll put this in it and I'll wrap it over it. Absolutely. That's so, what we do at Thanksgiving. Yes. Everything's pretty at Thanksgiving. <laughs> it can be in the summer too. I know. So that way, if you've got hamburger buns or if you're going to take um, something over to somebody's house, put it in a bowl and then tie this up and then they're going to go, what is this? Like that is so sweet. Absolutely. Love that. All right. So our spreaders are over there. And you one? Your scissors are over there. You know, I think I can I get think by with can. a full one. So, um, pardon me, under it. So as far, I think I'm okay. I do have paper under this, so my um, my surface protected. is protected. Yeah. But you want to make sure that you're only working with a single thickness. Absolutely. Do not have it folded. Yeah. And at home, I just put um, I put a trash bag out on the table to protect my table in case I bleed through. Does it not slide around? No, it doesn't. It's great. Okay, I'll give you that to put the top sure. on it. Michelle, what color am I working with? You are working with Hold Your Horses, which is a beautiful medium gray. So the it's gray amazing. is going to be really pretty over it's this gray. It's gorgeous. I love it. So, all right. So I'm just going to lay this down. And usually I will hold this at about a 45 degree angle. And press it through this mesh. You do want to use a little bit of pressure. You can hear it scraping, which is a good sign. It means it's kind of skating. So look at the other thing. I'll turn my spreader to the side because I want to stay away from that edge. So Michelle's going to give me just a little bit more. Dab her up. And remember, Michelle was saying when she is dyeing her towels that she can get three towels out of one two ounce. Absolutely. That's pretty good. I mean, look how much we still have left in here. So you might even be able to get four. Yeah, that color There's is amazing. A lot of paint left. You know it's what? Beautiful. This green and that blue would really, really Absolutely be great together gorgeous. too. Absolutely gorgeous. You want hit me up just a little bit more? Got you. So, I'm staying away from the really far edges when I reload her because she is working on the edge um, with this stencil. So I don't want her to have too much on the edges where she overflows. You know, I just thought of something what? with our kids out of school. One more time. Oh, Riley's been begging to create. Begging. So let's go to Target, get some inexpensive t-shirts for our kids. We've got a great adventure stencil. Um, we can have, um, I love just being able to use this, these scripture stencils as an opportunity to be able to just share God's word with our children. I need one more little bit. Do you want it on a corner? Yeah, maybe right there. Okay. And but there let them go. make them. Let them be outside and do the ombre. Absolutely. Have some kids over. You know, the sad thing is about Vacation Bible School being canceled this summer. We're going to have to kind of take that go. role. No, I'm afraid. We're going to have to kind of take that role. Well, and FYI, you can also tie-dye with this paint. Totally. You can pour that just totally. as easily as you can dip it. And tie-dyeing with your kids is a blast. Totally. And then also design. They love it. They love it. And it's messy and fun. So I'm going to give you that. Can I put it in our water? You can. <laughs> um, now, normally, as a rule, I like using clean water. But um, if our cameraman would just kind of show. So when you're working with the gel art inks, um, you can just clean them with water. You don't have to use soap. Nope, but clean them with water special. immediately after using them. If you want to do five or six towels, that's okay. Um, but the gel ink will wash out very easily Absolutely. with water. And then lay it out on a flat surface and allow it to air dry. You want to make sure the, the adhesive side is, is up. But look at this. Is this the cutest? That's going to look amazing. So the other thing you want to make sure that you do is allow this to dry two hours. And then um, after, it's, after it has dried for two hours, heat set it. Heat set it with so, an iron. With an iron. So, Michelle, do you normally just take one of these and lay it over it that you haven't used? I do, actually. So, I'll just tell you, when I am working on mine, I actually, if I had mine out, I have my design here, I flip the other side over because I'm not worried about it adhering onto my towel. That's a good word. I'm just wanting to protect my hot iron Love that. from the stuff. Love that. So I just flip the other side over. I iron for three to five minutes, 
and then I'm finished. Love that. And, but you are going to need to heat set it to make it permanent. Absolutely. Have you got a couple of others that you have done? You want to just kind of share them with everybody? So is this not the most fun um, tea towel? You can use it in your kitchen, but just allow it to be able to encourage you all day so long. So this is actually summer nights dried. So, so cute. Other, again, it's the ombre effect. Mm -hmm. And then this one is another ombre with our bird stencil. So you can see the coloring in this one. I'm going to pull it all the way out. I just love how it goes from light to that darker color. I do color. too. You did a I great job. I think it's job. beautiful. You Thank did a great you. job. All right. So bird? hopefully today was one, our, our prayer was that it was encouraging. Absolutely. And that you will resonate on this all day. And to, um, you know, if it hasn't been something that you've done, confess it and say, yeah. you know, Lord, I haven't been praising you enough because we want to bless him. We want to praise him with our soul, our innermost being. He wants all of us. He doesn't want part of us. He doesn't want lip service. He knows our heart. So uh, that's our prayer for all of you here from us at a maker studio. Michelle, thank you for being a part. You're welcome. Thank you blessing. for inviting me. And um, everybody have a wonderful Monday. All right, so I'm just going to lay this down, and usually I will hold this at about a 45-degree angle and press it through this mesh. You do want to use a little bit of pressure. You can hear it scraping, which is a good sign. It means it's kind of skating. So look at the other thing. I'll turn my spreader to the side because I want to stay away from that edge. So Michelle's going to give me just a little bit more. Dab her up. And remember, Michelle was saying when she is dyeing her towels that she can get three towels out of one two ounce. Absolutely. That's pretty good. I mean, look how much we still have left in here. So you might even be able to get four. Yeah, that color There's is amazing. A lot of paint left. You know it's what? Beautiful. This green and that blue would really, really Absolutely be great together gorgeous. too. Absolutely gorgeous. You want to hit me up just a little bit more? Got you. So, I'm staying away from the really far edges when I reload her because she is working on the edge um, with this stencil. So I don't want her to have too much on the edges where she overflows. You know, I just thought of something. What? With our kids out of school, one more time. Oh, Riley's been begging to create. Begging. So let's go to Target, get some inexpensive t-shirts for our kids. We've got a great adventure stencil. Um, we can have, um, I love just being able to use this, these scripture stencils as an opportunity to be able to just share God's word with our children. I need one more little bit. Do you want it on a corner? Yeah, maybe right there. Okay. And, but there let them go. make them, let them be outside and do the ombre. Absolutely. Have some kids over. You know, the sad thing is about vacation Bible school being canceled this summer we're going to have to kind of take that go. role. No, oh, no, I'm afraid. We're going to have to kind of take that role. Well, and FYI, you can also tie-dye with this paint. Totally. You can pour that just totally. as easily as you can dip it. And tie-dyeing with your kids is a blast. Totally. And then also design. They love it. They love it. And it's messy and fun. So I'm going to give you that. Can I put it in our water? You can. <laughs> um, now, normally, as a rule, I like using clean water, but um, if our cameraman would just kind of show. So when you're working with the gel art inks, um, you can just clean them with water. You don't have to use soap, nope, but clean them with water special. immediately after using them. If you want to do five or six towels, that's okay, um, but the gel ink will wash out very easily Absolutely. with water. And then lay it out on a flat surface and allow it to air dry. You want to make sure the, the adhesive side is exactly. up, but look at this. Is this the cutest? That's going to look amazing. So the other thing you want to make sure that you do is allow this to dry two hours. And then um, after it's after it has dried for two hours, heat set it. Heat set it with so, an iron. With an iron. So Michelle, do you normally just take one of these and lay it over it that you haven't used? I do, actually. So I'll just tell you, when I am working on mine, I actually, if I had mine out, I have my design here, I flip the other side over because I'm not worried about it adhering onto my towel. That's good work. I'm just wanting to protect my hot iron Love that. from the stuff. Love that. So I just flip the other side over, I iron for three to five minutes, and then I'm finished. Love that. And, but you are going to need to heat set it to make it permanent. Absolutely. Have you got a couple of others that you have done? You want to just kind of share them with everybody? So is this not the most fun um, tea towel? You can use it in your kitchen, 
but just allow it to be able to encourage you all day so long. So this is actually Summer Nights Dried. So, so cute. Other, again, it's the ombre effect. Mm -hmm. And then this one is another ombre with our bird stencil. So you can see the coloring in this one. I'm going to pull it all the way out. I just love how it goes from light to that darker I do color. Too. You did I a great job. I think it's beautiful. You Thank did a great you. job. All right, so bird? hopefully today was one, our, our prayer was that it was encouraging. Absolutely. And that you will resonate on this all day. And to, um, you know, if it hasn't been something that you've done, confess it and yeah. say, you know, Lord, I haven't been praising you enough because we want to bless him. We want to praise him with our soul, our innermost being. He wants all of us. He doesn't want part of us. He doesn't want lip service. He knows our heart. So uh, that's our prayer for all of you here from us at a maker studio. Michelle, thank you for being a part. Welcome. Thank you for inviting me. And um, everybody have a wonderful Monday.